All right, in this video, I'm going to be tying up the Enfield Dam Shad Fly. Uh, this is a fly that's found in C. Boyd Pfeiffer's book entitled Shad Fishing. The original recipe calls for a size 2 or 3 hook and 2x or 3x long. That seems like an awful large fly for shad um, to me, so I'm just going to tie it up on a standard size 2. Um, this is a Mustad 34007 hook, uh, once again in a size 2. I'm going to be tying this fly with a UTC Ultra Thread and a 140 denier. Um, and that's in yellow. Go ahead and get some thread on the hook. And I want to just take that thread down about a, an eye's length down the fly. And trim my excess thread. Alright, the next material I'm going to tie in is a silver tinsel. And I'm just going to wrap that around my thread in half. And capture it on top of the shank of the hook. And then go ahead and take my thread all the way back to the bend of the hook. And stop just about at the barb. That's good. And I'll take my thread back up to where I started, which was just about an eye's length uh, behind the eye. I'm going to go ahead and hit my thread wraps with some Sally Hansen's to help my silver tinsel stick. Just makes a more durable fly. And now I'm going to go ahead and wrap my silver tinsel forward. And I want these to be touching wraps. So we get a nice silver body. and capture the tinsel with your thread snip off your excess alright the original recipe calls for a wing of either yellow feather or yellow hair and I am going to treat to tie this with a hair wing and I'm going to be using a section of yellow kip tail to do that And I'm going to tie this uh, fairly sparse. So I'm going to pull any of the shorter bits out. So grab the tips, hold it tight, and just pull any of those short hair fibers out. End up with a more uniform looking wing. And the wing we want to basically just extend right past the bend of the hook. Fairly short wing. So I'm going to go ahead and capture that with a pinch wrap and pull straight down. Get one additional wrap. Straighten, take a look. Um, and just to capture that, I'm going to give it another wrap or two. Keep it from spinning around the hook. And then bring it back. I'm going to lift that wing slightly, so I'm going to just lift, lift the hair fibers up and make a wrap underneath. And then one over top. And just do that a couple times just to kind of help lift that wing up. Something about like that. 
Go ahead and advance our thread up and we'll lift up the tag end. Do a couple wraps underneath it. And then trim that tag down. And then we'll go ahead and clean that up and build up a nice head. pretty nice and then we'll give it a whip finish and I'm just going to touch some Sally Hansen's on those thread wraps Check the thread wraps and give it a nice shiny head. And you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and touch, touch my tinsel as well, just to protect it. Give it a little extra layer of strength. And that is the Enfield Dam Shad Fly from Pfeiffer's Shad Fishing.